Before we get into the video, here's a quick shout out to Oyoa.com, our sponsor. If you don't want to grind for items, runes, and you want armor real quick, then you can get it from these stalwart champions. And by using the code in the description, you can get 3% off. Remember, Guru. Greetings! Elden Ring Guru here. And today we're going to make a mockery out of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. We will confuse him into only doing two moves over and over, which are very easily avoided, meaning you can kill him no problem without getting hit. To scramble his AI, you're going to need a bow and some arrows. Doesn't matter what bow, stats, or level you are, as this will work for all. Lure him to the long, narrow section of the boss room and back away. All you have to do now is shoot him with your bow from a distance, which will trigger him into one of two possible moves. The more frequent move that he'll do is rush towards you and perform a stomp. When you see him lift his leg up, just roll forwards before it hits the ground and you'll easily avoid this every single time. He recovers quite slowly from this move, so it gives you plenty of time to roll past it and get back into position further away. The other move that we'll trigger sometimes is where he will jump in the air and throw his axe at you. This is easily avoided as well just by rolling forwards. He'll then swoop down to collect his axe but you'll be long out of the way by then, so continue to fire at him like normal. As long as you can remember these two moves, then like him you will be golden. Surely a competent gamer like yourself can remember just two simple moves. You've got this far, haven't you? Every time you shoot him, wait for a second to see if he starts his rush move, so you can be ready to roll through it. If he doesn't, fire again until he does. If you've regretted your bow a few times, and it will take no more than three or four minutes to kill him this way. You can even equip the bow talisman that gives you extra damage to make it quicker. Check out my Star Scourge Redan boss guide to see where to get it. It only takes me 43 hours to kill him with the standard longbow and arrow with the talisman equipped. And don't bother using any of your bow weapon skills like the mighty shot, as while it does more damage, the firing animation is longer, so you're more likely to get hit when using it. There's a lot more moves normally, but by attacking him like this, you'll never see two of them. You'll get a talisman pouch for killing him, which will increase the amount of talismans you can carry by one. And that's all there is to it. A simple bow and arrow to kill a simple golden man. I want you to know I communicated with this boss. I said I'm gonna cheese you, I hope you don't mind. He said, not if you make it interesting, dear boy, not if you made it interesting. Well, he made it interesting. This is a remarkable boss, and he has genuine genius. He takes this boss fight extremely seriously, but he doesn't take himself seriously. He's a remarkable boss. I've never seen such a, such a spectacular combination of, of overpowered cheat and total charm. And he has it in life! So he's like a Pied Piper in a way. He's supposed to light up your gaming world. And he'll do it in this boss fight. He's a very giving man. Golden man. And I told him, you might be the most giving boss of all time. And he said, won't the players get a laugh? Subscribe! And click the bell icon for more boss guides and a plethora of other Elden Ring content. Including a rage playthrough by the other guy on the channel that sucks at games. You will love it! Any fall can be survived! No, it can't. I'm doing no damage to him, man. Why is this game garbage?! 